Hello everyone and welcome back to class. In this um, lesson, we are looking at compound interest and we have two objectives. Our objectives are to calculate compound interest using a year-by-year -year approach and to calculate compound interest using formula. And of course, we're going to discuss a little bit about what compound interest is and how compound interest is diff different from simple interest. So, what is compound interest, first up? Um, compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum on, on a loan or deposit. Um, and that results in the interest, generating interest itself. So, here's an idea. Let's say you start an account with $1,000. And you do not trouble that account you leave it alone you don't add any more money to it you don't take any money from it let us say that that account generates 100 dollars in interest in compound interest this 100 dollars gets added back to this 1000 and so rather than starting the new investment year with a $1,000 as interest you're going to start with $1,100 as interest and so your interest becomes a part of your principal and generates interest itself. And so that is how compound interest works. The interest that you gain on your account is added to your principal and that generates a larger principal, which generates more interest. So simple interest is different from compound interest in that for simple interest, if you invest $1,000 for 10 years, for every year of that, um investment investment period if you're getting fifty dollars for the interest you're going to be getting the same amount every year because the interest is calculated solely on the original principal in compound interest the principal will change because that interest will be added to that principal and so you will start the new year with a different amount of money and every time it keeps adding it keeps growing so in compound interest the interest that is earned is added to your principal and that creates a new principal. And so your principal and your interest generate interest. But in simple interest, when you invest a certain amount of money, your interest is calculated on the exact money that you invested or the exact money that you borrowed and, not, and does not have anything to do with the interest that you get. Those are not added back to it to, to get a new principal. So they're very different. Um, so for that matter, compound interest tends to generate more um, revenue or more interest for those persons who have accounts that are based on compound interest than accounts that are based on simple interest. And banks generally tend to do what suits them better if they feel that using compound interest will make them get more money from you in borrowing in, in you taking a loan then that's what they will do if they figure that simple interest will do it then that's what they will do and typically that's how business is on, on, on a general scale so what we're going to do now is to show you how to use the simple interest uh, the compound interest formula to calculate interest on a year-by-year -year basis and then we use the same question with the formula so if we're using a year by year, we simply use uh, the idea that um, principal times rate uh, over 100 gives us interest. And we don't use the time because we are, we're going to be using it at a year by year basis, which means we're going to be doing individual calculations. You'll see in a moment. So this person, a plot of land was bought for $50,000 and appreciates. And when you see the word appreciates, that's a clue there that is telling you that you must use compound interest. So appreciates mean that the value is going to go up. And so what we want to know is the value of the land after three years. So in the first year, the value of the land is $50,000. So I'm going to call that year one. So $50,000. And we have an interest rate of 8%, that percent is out of 100. So we can divide here. And so we are going to get an interest of um, 500 times eight, which gives you $4,000. So in the first year 
or at the end of the first year, the land is going to go up by $4,000, which means now that this $4,000 is going to be added back to this $50,000. At the beginning of the second year, your land is no longer worth $50,000. It is worth $50,000 plus $4,000, which means that your land is now worth $54,000. And so it's still going to go by 8%, and we're going to run another calculation for year two. Here, doing a division, we end up with 540 times 8. And 540 times 8 gives us 4,320. And punch that into your calculator and confirm. 4,320. And so this value, again, is going to be added back to your principal. To, the, to, the, to the, the value of the land. And so at the beginning of year three, your land is not going to be worth $54,000. It's going to be worth 54 plus this. So we are adding. So 54,000 plus 4,320 gives us $58,320 times eight again. That's a percentage over 100. And we can do a simple calculation there. In this case, we get 583.2 times 8. And that gives you 4,665.6 or 60 cents. So it's a three-year thing. So we do a year one, year two, year three. And this would be where we stop. Now, what this means is this is the amount of money the land will go by for the first year, this for the second year, and this for the third year. So in terms of total value gained, and let me write that, gained, we need to add these three. So we have 4,000 plus, four, no, that's, that's 40,000, let's correct that, plus 4,320 plus 4,000. $665.60. So we add up all of those. And adding those gives us $12,985.60. So the land will go by this value, which means that the value of the land after three years would be value after three years. Um, is 50,000 plus 12,985 dollars and 60 cents and that gives us a total of 62,985 dollars and 60 cents this would be the value of the land after three years this is a very useful formula to do to you to um to calculate um or useful method rather to calculate um compound interest or generally things that appreciate in value. The, the difficulty with this formula, however, is the time period. So notice that this is a uh, three years, three year period, which means that you have to do three separate calculations. CXE and other exam bodies do not normally go beyond three years if they expect you to use this method. Normally what they do is that they stop at two years to allow you to use um, this method, you year one, year two, instead of going to year three, because it can get very cumbersome. And because of that reality where these calculations can get really, really long and cumbersome, really, really um, difficult to work out based on the, the, the sheer manpower that it needs, there is a formula that we can use to work out the same question. The formula in, in, in that I'm referring to um, looks something like this, where we write amount is equal to the principal times one plus the rate over 100 and that's raised to the n let me write these out the a is the total value um, of whatever it is let's call it account or asset whatever the thing is and the r as you should realize would be the interest rate And of course, the n, the n is the number of years. And in banking terms, they call it the number of compounding periods. 
compounding periods. And of course, P is the principal, or P is the original value. All right, so this formula is pretty simple to use, and it all that you need is a calculator, and you're good to go. So we start by saying the land is bought for $50,000, $50,000 appreciates at a rate of 8% per year. Calculate the value of the land after three years. And so the value of the land is going to be, start with the principal, $50,000 times one plus the rate. The rate is 8% over 100 to the number of compounding periods, the number of years, that's three. And so what we have here is $50,000 times 1.08, put this in decimal, 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08, plus 1 gives you 1.08 to the third. And all that you need to do now is just punch this in your calculator, and you're finished. And once you punch this into your calculator, you will get 62,900 and $85.60. And notice that this formula calculates directly what the value will be. If you want to find out in terms of if it was an account and you want to find what the interest was, then you would have to go to, you'd have to go subtract the principal. So you subtract 50,000 from that. And you would see that it's 12,985 as we had in the first question in the pre previous question. And so this is how we go about using the compound interest formula to work out um, compound interest for, for a time period. Principal times one plus R over 100. We just substitute our numbers and let our calculator do the work. To find more in papers and practice material, go to csecmathtutor.com, go into the past, past paper section. And remember, there are solutions there as well if you want to look at the solutions to check your accuracy and, and, and your, your work. Subscribe, share, and best wishes as you continue preparing for your exam.